Good morning, folks. Starting with a buoy in event mode. Haven't seen this in quite a while, but no worries. Deviation here, little less than one meter. Red tide killing thousands of fish washing up in Sarasota, Florida. Different toxic algae bloom in Hobson's Bay. Nice to see someone else notice the cyclonic motion north of these here. They've named her Freda. We also got Cyclone Mitchell and Wukong. Wukong is weakly trudging through the South China Sea. Cyclone Freda is pounding the Solomon Islands and is beautifully developed here in the enhanced infrared. While Mitchell is not expected to make landfall in Western Australia, the shear has already begun. Perth begging for that rain. Anything to cool you guys down, huh? So much windblown dust in Bulgaria that it is a genuine respiratory concern, caused by a tiny helical low that has broken away from the major low between the UK and Iceland. Here the cloud motion, the recent precipitation they brought so you can forecast ahead. This is the snow cover left from winter storms Draco and Euclid. It actually stretches down to Texas, but now the next one, winter storm Freyer, is set to bring more snow to the northeast. The counterclockwise motion has Gulf and Atlantic moisture meeting dry cooler air and set to come down all weekend. Out west, you can see how that helical motion from the North Pacific low brings the Pacific moisture to the northwest and up into Canada. Had a gamma burst last night from way down south in the Centaurus constellation. From the northern hemisphere, Looking at sunrise, it will be due south. Well, let's say that you don't live up here. You live in Australia or New Zealand. Right now, Southerners have Centaurus in the sky nearly all day and night. This area is the celestial axis, the southern one, the southern point around which the Earth's rotation spins our view of the sky. The north has one of these as well. We just uh, got to look the other way. I am showing you the September 1st plasma filament eruption for comparison. When these erupt, they can have CMEs as big as X-class solar flares. So yesterday morning, when the results of destabilization in the central plasma filament did not result in an eruption, it was not a huge disappointment. Looking closely, we see it dive back down into the sun and murky up the corona slightly, rather than ripping away and causing a solar tsunami and reconnection loops, those arcs of a hydro flare. Geo-effective space weather, the coronal hole stream has arrived, raising the speed and the density, but barely. This is truly a pathetic stream, to be honest. Speaking of pathetic, the sun seems to have forgotten solar maximum is nearby, at least for Earth-facing sunspots. They come, and even if they have magnetic complexity, they tend to crumble. To the right side, you will see the eruption here, coming off the back side on Soho. Just over the edge and turning away is that former triangular active region that caught stage fright last week facing Earth. Well, it is now popping off with a new friend he got at his 2 o'clock. Yet another example of solar shenanigans. In today's comment section, I challenge those who have been here a while to comment on just how long I've been railing on this lack of Earthside flares getting everyone up to speed. And Billy and Stone, when did we first discuss this? November 2011? Last few days of the year and my eyes are set on exposing this in the new one. Eyes open. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.